good morning students today our new topic is the rules of writing roman numerals like in this there are three rules by way using which we can write any uh, hindu arabic numbers into the roman format let us discuss about the first rule and the first rule is the numeral i and x can be repeated can be repeated maximum maximum 3 times 3 times in any roman numeral i repeat numerals i and x these are the only two roman symbols which can be repeated maximum of 3 times in while writing any roman numerals for example if i have to, i have have to write one as roman format we write it as i if you have to write two in roman format it is i and i if i have to write three in the roman format it is i i i but if we have to write four we cannot write it as i i i i i that means four times this process is wrong because according to rule we can repeat the symbol only maximum to three times similarly for if you have to write 10 so for writing 10 we use the symbol x for writing 20 in the similar manner we will write two times x means 20 if we have to write 30 then we can repeat it this symbol x x x three times which represent hindu arabic number 30 now if we have to write 40 if we have to write 40 so can we write it as x x x x the answer is no it is wrong because our rule says we can only repeat it three times so this is our first rule now the second rule of writing roman numeral is if we have a smaller roman numeral on left of any greater numeral left of any greater roman numeral if we have a smaller roman numeral on the left of the greater numeral then we subtract we subtract the smaller numeral from the greater then we subtract the smaller numeral from the greater now for explaining this topic let me take an example suppose if it is written i v i v now here this i basically represents digit 1 and v which represents 5 now according to our statement since there is a smaller numeral on the left of the bigger numeral so what we need to subtract we need to subtract the smaller numeral from the bigger that means 5 minus 1 and what is our result the result is 4 so we can say that symbol i v represent digit 4 the symbol i v represent digit 4 of hindu arabic similarly if our digit is i x now what does i represent i again represent 1 and what does x represent x represents 10 so once again we can say that there is a smaller numeral 
left to the bigger one so once again let's subtract 10 minus 1 that means smaller numeral from the bigger numeral so what will be the answer the answer is 10 minus 1 as 9 it means new the symbol x i x in the roman format represent digit 9 of the hindu arabic this is our second rule now let us discuss about the third rule of writing the roman numeral if we have a smaller roman numeral on the right side i repeat right side of any greater roman numeral then we add we add the smaller numeral with the greater so in our second rule since it was left side so we subtracted now if the smaller numeral is on the right side we have to add the numeral let us take the example for this now suppose your digit is written like this x and i this is the roman number given to you x i now let's see what digit it represents in the hindu arabic form now your x r x this x represents 10 and what does i represents i represents 1 now if you can see it very clear it is very clear that there is a smaller numeral on the right side of the bigger numeral so what we need to do according to the rule we need to add the digits so i will add 10 plus 1 and it is equals to 11 this means the roman numeral xi represents the digit 11 it represents digit 11 similarly if it is written like vi then again the symbol v represents 5 the symbol i represents 1 once again a smaller numeral is on the right side of the bigger one so we need to add this so it is 5 plus 1 which is equals to 6 so hence we can say that v i represents digit 6 not only this we can use the same rule for many other numbers like for example if it is x l if it is x l now what is the symbol symbolic form of x it is 10 and l means 50 once again using the same rule using the same rule of the second one the second rule since we have a smaller value left to the bigger one we need to subtract it so it is 50 minus 10 that is 40 so our symbol x l represent the number 40 vice versa if it is l x if it is l x so l represents 50 and x represents 10 now since here a smaller value on the right of the bigger one so we will add this and this will become 50 plus 10 which is 60 that means lx represent 60 the three rules these three rules are being used everywhere whenever you have to write any roman numeral to hindu arabic or a hindu arabic number to roman format